Okay, in this video I'm going to take a look at question 3 from the higher level 2016 paper. It's uh, become a popular question among students. It's uh, where you have to alter the design of a building uh, in some regard. So in the question here, it gives us some information that the front elevation is south facing, a 300 mm external concrete block wall, full full insulated cavity, AA is a load bearing wall and um, it's a 100 mm concrete block and the existing design tells us that there's low levels of natural light getting into the building. So the question part A uh, asks us to use notes and sketches. If it says that, it's 50-50 for your marks, more or less, and uh, ensure that bright light uh, enters the building or penetrates into the building. So you have to revise this design. So you want to modify the external envelope here as this first one is bullet pointed and then you want to revise the internal layout. So there's two things, external design and uh, internal layout. And the part B of the question then focuses on the reasons. So you, if you want to divide that up again, external reason, reasons for the external and reasons for the internal. Very important when you're answering the question to mirror exactly what they're asking in the question. So that's the key to this here. So first of all, I look at my design here. I want to modify it. I've got the picture that's shown in the original design here. Uh, so I'm going to kind of start with the basic shape and then yes you can see I've entered in a number of skylights and I've increased the size of the windows in the front and I've also included a porch in the design. So it's, it's obvious that I have a plan here for what my modifications are to the external here. So if it's south facing, we'll go through it in the question here. But this number one thing is you use what they give you in the exam and then you mirror it in your answer. The little details are showing the windows, the way the windows are open and a couple of notes as well too that are included along with the sketch here. So all I'm showing is just really the porch that lays into the south and the porch will act as a windbreak as well. First thing that's obvious from the picture is that I increase the size of the windows at the south facing and uh, or the south facing part of the wall and this will act to increase uh, the passive solar heat or passive solar heat and light that's getting into the house. And the other uh, uh, part that I'm offering here in the sketch is that I put Felix skylights in the south facing pitch it will also increase the heat and light penetration into the heart of the house. So simple. And I've got my sketch. That's the external envelope. And then I move on to the internal envelope. So again, mirror the question that you've been given. If you can do that there, you're well under your way to uh, ensure that you get marks for each of the different parts. So again, I need a sketch. And what I need to do is need to refer back to the sketch that I have here. So just to keep us on track here, I've inserted uh, the original plan that's given in the question here. And uh, insert on the screen here. This takes a bit of time going around uh, the sketch. And again, I'm referring as well to, to my initial sketch where I have my one porch or one break on it. And it takes a little bit of time to do this here now. And uh, I'm using a kind of proportion, rough proportion. It doesn't have to be absolutely exact but it helps if it, it looks the part. So I'm doubling up a bit of thickness here on the external walls. I've got the internal layout here with a few of my doors and different walls I can see have my fireplace in. But the big obvious one here, the most obvious thing here is I'm removing walls in the front section there to create an open plan space. And you can see there that the front two walls are, are taken out on the internal division walls and my arrangements around the porch and that there sort of thing as well too and I'm just putting in where I'm moving the bedroom to the back where the, the dining room was and a little bit of an arrangement in that. Indicate always uh, your path of the sun when we're talking about light and heat and south and, and east and west and just a few lines showing where it's penetrating into the house. A few notes of that there as well and just what I'm keeping as the existing and what I'm doing here to uh, leave leave in place and then I can speak about my alterations. The numbers that I'm putting in then are so that I can use them as a reference. It would be nice if it had to be all on one page but um, it's not a big deal. So long as you have the numbers here that the person is looking at it will know what you're talking about then because you have your sketch done. I wouldn't always advocate the, in the sketches using pen but in this case when you have your pencil parts done, pen sometimes can be good for uh, making this stronger looking or uh, easier to read. So with different my different points that I'm making here, moving the front bedroom to the north side, leaving the existing northwest bedroom in place, moving the bedroom uh, to the north side of the building, leave less used rooms are moved to the north side and the most used ones to the front side open plan living, making the most of the passive solar heat 
and the porch of the has made one break as well too and glazing on that, that one, uh, one break. So it asks in the part B then to discuss in detail the reasons for my proposed design choices. So a lot of this here is just going to be a written answer. So the first one that I have here is to maximize solar heat gain from uh, the sun is to increase the size of the windows on the south facing uh, as I have done in my sketch as well too. And the increase the amount of sunlight that's going to get in and uh, into the house. The second point that I'm making here then is by putting skylights on the south side of the roof it will allow sunlight to penetrate deep into the house and because Ireland's sun rises in the east, sets in the west as everywhere else does, it's always strongest in the south. So then for the internal layout, the points that I've made which are also obvious in my sketch are that uh, I want to move the kitchen dining room area from the north side which was the top right hand side of the plan to get more direct sunlight to the south and southwest and uh, these rooms are used the most so they should benefit the most from the solar heat and light. The next point that I want to make then is that I want to leave the existing bedroom one in position on the north side and move the bathroom uh, from the south side to the north side also to move the front bedroom to the north side or northeast corner and the, the reason behind this is just basically to try if possible to keep bedrooms bathrooms utility rooms on the north side as they don't need as much passive solar heat gain as they're seldom used by comparison with the living areas so the most used rooms in the house really need the most passive solar heat and light remember the question focused on the light getting into the areas so that's what we focus on in this And just to clarify with each of the different points that I have here as well too, I just leave the living room in place as it's on the south side. It's also got the fireplace that's there as well, which will be quite difficult to move, if you wanted to mention that. Uh, place the front porch on the south side is elect as a windbreak from the outside to the kitchen dining room. And I want to keep the load bearing wall in position and I remove the two internal walls in the, to, for the kitchen dining room area to give a large open plan area which allows the light and heat right into the living area and the stove is also still remaining in the central position. So the key here is to make sure that you reflect what you're asked in the question just once you do that there it's a good thing to get into the habit of and you address all of the points and you'll be back to contact.